Hi everyone! Time to do another listening paper. This one's called The Frog. Alright, go find that in today's papers, right? It's got a big frog on the front on a lily pad. Alright, and you'll need a few things. You'll need crayons, you'll need scissors, glue, and a pencil. Okay, so go gather all those things and come back with your packet, The Frog. Okay? All right, once you've gathered all those things, get your pencil, and on the line it says, by, you're going to write your name right here, by, and your name. All right, good. You can color him green, and you can color his lily pad brown. Okay? All right, let's open up the first page. All right, so the title of this page, Laying Eggs. So the first thing I want you to do is get your scissors, cut off the bottom of half of the paper, and then cut out the little box where the eggs are in. Don't worry about the word eggs. We don't need to cut that out. Just cut out the little eggs and paste them right up here in the water. All right, so cut off the bottom, just cut out the eggs, paste them up here. All right, and then I want you to color the water blue color the tree trunk brown, color the mountains brown, and all the grass around the pond green. Okay, now let's read the sentence. The frog lays her blank in the spring. All right, so that's where we're going to write our word eggs. The frog lays her eggs in the the spring. So we're going to write the word eggs in between these two lines here. All right, so get your pencil. I'm going to start with the letter E. All right, so line across and then make a C. Okay, and a nice circle. Come straight down and make a hook for a G. And another G. And S. Okay, so make sure those G's come underneath. There's the top and the bottom. Make sure your G's come underneath the line. E, G, G, S. Okay, the frog lays her eggs in the spring. All right, let's change it to the next page where it says tadpoles. Okay, so you're going to again cut off the bottom. And then just cut the picture of the tadpole out. You don't need to cut the word out. Just cut the picture of the tadpole out and paste it up here in the water. Okay, and again, color the water blue, tree trunk brown, mountains brown, and the grass around the pond green. All right, so now we're going to fill in the sentence. The frog's eggs hatch into, and that's where we're going to write the word, tadpoles. So the frog's eggs hatch into tadpoles. We're going to write that in between these two lines. Okay, so get your pencil and I got to get my eraser. <laughs> All right, so tadpoles. T, top down, cross, A, nice circle, and back down. D, is a circle and a top down line attached to it. P, line down and close it up. O, another L, top down and E. Oh, there's the tadpoles and there's an S on the end. It's more than one. Okay, so remember. Some of those lowercase letters, and this one, it's the P, the other one, it was the G's come below that line. So, T, A, D, P, O, L, E, S. Okay, that's what you're going to write on the frog's eggs hatch into tadpoles. All right, let's turn to the next one where it says growing. All right, 
So on the bottom, cut it off again on the second half, bottom half, cut out the frog or the tadpole that is now growing. See, he has um, some legs coming in now, All right? So cut out just the tadpole that's growing. You don't need to cut out the words. And you're gonna paste that tadpole up here back in the water. All right, color the water blue, tree trunk brown, some grass and mountains. All right, so first sentence, the tadpole grows legs. Okay, so the first choice of words down here is legs. The tadpole grows legs. So in here, we're gonna write the word legs. All right, so here's our line. Jump and bottom, legs. L starts at the top, straight down. Okay, then an E. And then a G. Remember that G, the hook comes down underneath the one. And S. L E G S, legs. All right, now there's a second sentence at the bottom. It can live on land when it becomes a frog. All right, that other word over there. It can live on land when it becomes a frog. So we're gonna write frog in between these two lines. Okay. Yes, I can't find my eraser. <laughs> All right, here's the lines again. And we're gonna write frog. So frog is top down, for the F, which is a hook, cross in the middle, and R, small line down, go back up and make a little loop. O, start at the top, all the way around, close it up, and there's that G again, another circle, and it's gonna go underneath the line. Frog, F-R-O-G. All right, now let's switch it to the last page, which we have a circle that's split into three equal sections. So what is that? What do we have here with something split into equal sections? A fraction, right? So this, fra this circle is split into thirds because there's three equal parts. So it is split into thirds. Thirds. Each part is one third of the whole, but that's not what we're talking about today. All right, so on the bottom again, cut it off, cut out each of the thirds, and you're going to paste them in order one, two, and three up here. So the first order of a life cycle of the frog would be the eggs. So that goes in number one. Then he is a tadpole, that goes in number two. And then lastly, he's a frog, and you paste that in number three. Okay, so that's the end of our listening book for today, The Frog. All right, I will be back soon, and then I will do some letter art again, and then we're going to make a frog out of a letter. See you then. <laughs>